okay? Now another way to do this is through centrifuging. So centrifuging is a common separation technique that exploits the density differences of different substances, okay? So we're saying that some substances are more dense than other substances. And that's pretty obvious. For instance, air is not very dense. I can walk through it, I can run quite slowly through it. Whereas if I was to try and do the same in lead, that would be much, much more difficult. I wouldn't be able to run through lead, I'd just run into lead. And it doesn't float, it's very heavy, so it's very dense, okay? So in centrifuging, what we're exploiting here is that some particles are naturally more dense than other particles. So when you have a solid suspended in a liquid, sort of like how blood, is suspend, blood cells are suspended in blood, gradually the densest substance will settle on the bottom, okay? So if you've got a container, I'm sure you've seen this before, if you shake up a container and there's sand all through here, eventually over time all of the sand will drop to the bottom and it will settle, okay? I'm sure you've seen this. Um, I'm not sure where, but I'm sure you've seen it, okay? And what we call this is sedimentation. When things start falling to the bottom, we call it sedimentation. Now, centrifuging is simply an accelerated version of sed sedimenting. And what it does is it spins the suspension, so it spins the liquid at very high speed. I'm sure you've seen this in sci-fi movies and things like that. They put it in this little container and it spins, and at very high speed spinning. And what happens is when you spin it, it essentially imparts a force on each of these particles. And because some are more dense, they'll fall to the end of the tube faster than the less dense particles, okay? So centrifuging is used to separate solids in a suspension. And what we do is we use it in the separation of blood. So when you go and donate blood, um, if you have donated blood before, um, they take out the blood and sometimes they'll separate it into parts. So they'll separate it into blood cells, um, and different proteins and things. So you can use each of those parts instead of having to use the whole blood um, if you don't need the whole blood, okay? It's also used to remove fine particles from gas streams. A similar method is sort of like if you have a Dyson vacuum cleaner, the cyclonic action um, sort of operates the same way as this. Um, so for those who use Dyson vacuum cleaners or clean your house regularly, this is sort of the process that's used to extract dust, okay? Explain how the process of centrifuging can be used to separate solids in a suspension. So solids that are in a sort of liquid. So solids in a suspension will naturally sink to the bottom due to the high density compared to water. So if they have a higher density compared to water, they'll sink to the bottom. Now centrifuging accelerates this process by essentially accelerating sort of the, well, making the acceleration bigger due to gravity. So not due to gravity in this case. So the forces acting on each particle are bigger because the acceleration is bigger. By rotating the mixture rapidly, the dense objects sink to the bottom while the larger objects sit on top. And that's how centrifuging works, okay? Exploiting density differences in different solids.